All right, let's get right to it. This is the new iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus. As you can see, they didn't change that much in the design. It looks very much like the iPhone 15, except that the cameras are now aligned in the 16 and 16 Plus, but there's some new colors as you can pretty much count on. This time it's ultramarine, teal, pink, black, and white. Inside, they bumped it up from the A16 Bionic to a new A18 that gives a solid performance improvement in the 20 to 30% range, with a small improvement in the battery life, and with eight gigs of RAM that makes everything just smoother. But what most people didn't like is the same design. The rounded corners, the size of the regular phone and the plus phone, the speakers, the antenna lines, everything just basically the same. It still has the action button. Actually, it was only in the pro iPhone, but now it's also available on the base models with the iPhone 16 lineup, which actually a good idea because it's really useful for quickly adjusted tasks like using it as a speed dial button, as a silent alarm switch, or program it to do your own special thing. What they really changed is this new button called camera control. The second button is kind of touch sensitive that give you a quick control to the camera. You can click it to open the camera, click it again to take a photo, or a long press to start taking a short video. You can also do a little half strength double tap to open different camera options and slide your finger along this camera control to change them. So is it worth it? And should you really upgrade? For me, if you're rocking an iPhone 12 or older, then yeah, the iPhone 16 is a no brainer. But if you've got a 14 or 15, the upgrades still feel pretty much unnecessary. Let me know what you think in the comments. So there you have it. Apple's latest iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. If you would like to know more about the 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max, click on the video that pops up in the right corner. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech reviews. Thanks for watching and hope to catch you in the next one.